So question 13 says, the percentage arrow in estimating the depth of a swimming pool is minus 4%. If it was estimated to be 2.6 meter deep, find the actual depth of the swimming pool. Forget about this negative sign. What this negative sign is telling us is that the, the depth of the swimming pool was underestimated. So if the swimming pool were to be like 100 meter deep, it was measured around maybe 60 meter deep. It was underestimated. This is why we have negative 4%. So there is a particular formula that will guide us in finding percentage error. Percentage error is equal to the absolute major over the actual major times 100. This is the formula. This absolute major means um, the real major minus the underestimated or overestimated major. The reason why we use absolute, you know absolute normally convert negative values to positive values. This means that if the depth of the swimming pool was overestimated, it means that the estimated value is greater or higher than the actual measure. In that case, if you say actual measure minus the overestimated measure, you are going to get a negative result. And hence, if you take the absolute measure, it will uh, vanish the negative sign. So here, we don't know the actual measure, so we can replace it with any variable which in this case, we let the actual major to be x. So percentage error is what we have here as 4%. We call it 4%. Forget about the negative sign I told you. It is just uh, a way of showing us that we have of 10 uh, on the estimated result. This is equal to the actual major, which we have as x, minus the underestimated or overestimated. In this case, we have underestimated, which is 2.6, over the actual major, which is x. We don't know it. We are looking for it, times 100. All right. 4%, or well, let me just call it 4. We can use this 100 and multiply each of these times. X times 100 is 100 X minus 2.6 times 100 is 260 over X. We can cross multiply now. We can see this X multiplied by four. We can even do it directly here so that we have four X. We can say four times X is four X so that we have nothing here. So we can now collect the like terms. This term here is negative. Once it comes back, it becomes positive. So we can say 260 to the left. This is equal to already we have 100x there. If this one crosses over here, it is positive. It is going to become negative for x. 260 will now be equal to 96x but what we are looking for is the x so we can divide both sides by 96 to leave x alone 96 so finally x equals 260 divided by 96 we have 2.78 approximately 2 Point seven okay zero eight approximately and this is our uh, actual major and this is option a here from question number 13 so now let us move on to question number 14